Hello, everybody. I hope y'all are well. Um, <clears throat> I just want to do a quick energy check, okay, guys? Most definitely. Um, I do want to keep y'all up to date with messages, but like I said, I don't want to overwhelm the collector because, you know, I don't want y'all to take these messages and... You know, and I don't, I want to try to find a, a better way to speak to you all. I know y'all love when I be raw and shit, but, you know, because there's some people that actually are very sensitive, you know, and I should be able to speak for the entire collective, you know, without a person being offended. But let's just be honest here. We're all fucking grown. Okay, here, I'm giving messages um, solely off of the energy because i keep giving these same messages over and over and it's like well maybe it's my delivery as to why motherfuckers is just not getting it maybe i don't know follow me because i am a leader okay here but spirit is saying come this is your invitation this is your invitation to do something new because why you have awakened here you might be um having some issues with your mother or with your child's mother, okay? Like I said, you've awakened, stolen in her sleep is in the reverse. Um, look at that, the gift. I feel like you worked very hard. Once was innocent, knowledge means change, okay? I feel like um, something was already brought to your attention here, you know, that you didn't know anything about. Some kind of betrayal is what I'm feeling here. Could be, um, with a significant other, could be family, could be whatever, you know, any kind of soulmate of that nature. Maturation, growing up, introspection. Somebody is not, um, somebody is awakened, okay, but somebody is not on the bullshit. Somebody is not with the fuck shit. That's just what I feel right here. For sure. Okay, so. With all these energies right here, I feel like you're doing a really good job. I feel like you're going in the right direction as far as your path. Whatever it is that, you know, you've been wanting to do. You've been sowing seeds here. I feel like um, everything that you want is coming towards you. You're going towards it. Whatever, whatever you want might just meet you halfway. That shit might meet you right when you about to walk out the door. You know, it just... God works in his own timing here. Okay, and I don't ever want you all to get discouraged because of these messages here. But from what I'm picking up, a lot of y'all, you know, got some offers coming in. And I feel like you, whatever the case may be, you're progressing. I feel like can't nobody, look at this shit, the magician with the ten of wands and the reverse and the three of wands. If somebody was trying to do some kind of magic on you, that shit didn't work. You still got an offer. Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn Virgo Taurus here. Look at that. The betrayal. I say that. The betrayal. Okay, here. Ace of Wands, your new beginning with the high priestess. You know exactly what it is that you need to be doing, I feel. Look, Eight of Swords here. Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords in reverse. This motherfucker done got caught up doing something or you did or you're about to or this person is about to. This person is not going to have any strength for whatever this is, but I feel like it's karma from whatever the hell they did to you. Okay, here. Maybe you have to go cold and, you know, detach from whoever the fuck. This may be right here because this person right here is a joke. These people are a joke. Look, like I said, seven of cups. Could be seven motherfuckers right here. Eight of wands, queen of wands in the reverse, the hierophant in reverse, six of cups in reverse, and the page of fucking swords. So maybe this person is going to try to make a physical move towards you because uh, they're tired of watching you. And I keep picking up on that energy, too. It's definitely a masculine, like, moving towards their destiny. Like, this person, I'll give a this person up and left. King of Wands in the reverse. Leo Aries Sag. Normally, I say this is my karmic card if it's in the reverse, or this is a whole ass nigga, but this person right here, I feel they have no more passion for whatever this Six of Cups energy is here. They don't have any more passion for the past. This person is moving forward, and you are too. Please get ready for the conflict because a bitch can't stand when you're moving forward. 
after they tried to keep you behind for so long. Four of Pentacles. This motherfucker right here most definitely always kept you on the back burner. And I feel like in a third party situation, this shit is an end to it with the world card and the hangman here. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse for this person. It's like, uh, they send up here trying to manifest off of your abundance, off of your offers, whatever this could be for you. They're not thinking, you know, they're thinking that, oh, I got ties to this person. So, you know, whatever the hell they get, they're going to share it with me too. But why is this person always counting your pockets? Why is this magician ass goddamn energy always concerning themselves with you? Boom. That's why. Because that goddamn offer is right there. And it's nothing this person can do. Ain't shit you can do right here. Motherfuckers is liars. Whatever this person coming in and say, it's a lie. And I feel like you know this already. Okay, here. But the most expensive clothes, just so you can notice me fucking with bad souls. I know that you notice me dropping my eight bands on the piece, so you can notice me space scoop beast. Can't help but to notice me. Ooh, ooh, I know you notice me. Shout out to Peach. Shout out to Young Scooter. So, like I said, the third party is over. Motherfuckers is not with this here. But see, this person. This person will keep you in this shit as long as you allow them. And I feel like you moved on and they feel your energy is gone. You have completely blossomed into the Empress. You're getting everything that you could possibly want here. Okay, here. And that card fell for a reason. It's a death to something with a fucking Scorpio here. But at the end of the day, you're the Empress. Nobody can compare to you is what I'm hearing. And this is exactly how your person feels about you. More card. It's secrets. It's too many secrets here. And I feel like somebody is sitting back watching, trying to maybe gather information to... I don't even feel like they gather. And I feel like this motherfucker is literally reaching out to people that you know, bro. Straight up. Yeah, so I can't shit come towards you. They don't want you to go towards your actual twin flame here. Spirit said, fuck what they talking about. God gonna do what God gonna do. If he gotta take that ass out, then so fucking be it. His will will be done. We don't never know God moves, but when you know that you are being divinely guided, you got to only trust God. You can't trust a motherfucker who every time you can't do something, when they want it done, they hate you. They go out and cheat. They threaten divorce or they leave or something. Three of Pentacles, like I said, very victorious. Not this motherfucker is, okay, here? Emperor, this emperor feels no success with this person. Two of Swords in the reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sag here. Could definitely be an Aries here with this goddamn emperor, okay, here? It's gonna see clearly what the fuck is going on. Two, two. Two of pentacles in the reverse, two of swords in the fucking reverse, and the judgment. It's like somebody misjudged a situation, but don't they all fucking ways? Will of fortune. It's about time because this person, look at that. Now, I can't even make this shit up. You got the six of swords in reverse and the chariot. This person don't want you to move on and move forward. They don't want you to move at all. They want you to be handicapped, stuck. But while they're benefiting off of all of your goddamn options, how does that make sense? This is all greedy bitch or a greedy ass motherfucking nigga right here. You could be paying this person three, four bands in child support a month. That's what they gonna do. Keep taking you to court until they can get more. Because they up all night stress worried because you don't want to deal with them anymore. Somebody literally getting a divorce. Yeah, this bitch right here about to take you to court again. Justice. You gonna get justice, but it's just the simple fact. Why are you going through this? What for fucking way? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Shout out, I give you. When we were together, I gave you everything. When we ain't together, I still give you more than enough. And I'm talking about three bands, like maybe child support. If you divorce this person, this person is getting a good amount of money and alimony and child support. But if you just got this person on child support 
this person right here was helping out more or you were helping out way more before the system even got involved. Like, bruh, you act like you just can't come and ask me for shit. And see, with you, it ain't even a point of, oh, um, like, say if you were to be with someone else, right? It's not even to the point where, oh, I ain't finna do shit for that bitch because I got somebody else. Oh, if this person needs something, nine times out of ten, you're the type of person that's gonna give it anyway. Because you don't want your child to miss out on opportunities and have to heal from some shit. Everybody knows that if the mother is not right, how can the, the child be? And I just really want to get, I, I want to, I really want to say that. You don't never know what nobody going through, bro. And you know, I, I get really tired of picking up on this energy here. Because it's a union, a real union with, with two people that deserve to be with each other. Two people that is basically from the same walks of life. And two people that just don't want to hurt no more. And they won't hurt each other. And this karmic or bitch, karmic, this motherfucker know or you know, bitch know that when these two people unite you know it's over but see it's not over in a revenge type of way it's over because this is a divine union these two people are meant to be and nobody will stop that like I said tower bitch ten of cups energy the karma and see I don't even want to tap into you how it's karma because balance is gonna be restored. My daddy got that. I, I just, I, I, I am just really fucking sick and tired of a bitch always trying to bring conflict to any damn body. I don't give a fuck who it is. Anybody that's trying to cause stagnation, ruin, isolate any, anything to another human being. And see, you do this shit and you ain't even got no reason. That's the shit that pisses me off. You don't got a reason. Bruh, you, you treated this person like shit the whole time y'all were together. Let's just be real here. Let's just be big fat the fucking rules here. Is what Spirit said. Somebody named Jill. Nigga, no, somebody named Carlton, Carlos, or Champ, something like that. This king of cults right here most definitely is a wounded fucking warrior. Why do a person need to be wounded? Why do a person need to be wounded, used, abused because of shit that is theirs? And see, these bitches, these niggas, they know what you're capable. They know what you got going. And they're going to stick around as long as they can and as long as you got it. But see, the thing about it is, when you catch on and when you get tired of that shit, that's when these motherfuckers start wanting to do black magic and dumb ass shit like that to try to stop your actual union. It ain't an ex, an ex-friend. It ain't nobody in this world that I really think about on a daily basis or even at all. But to think to the first thing you wake up, you don't brush your TV on anything. Thank God, you don't do shit for yourself or your kids. You steadily looking up spells and looking up practitioners on how to keep these two people from uniting. But then you wonder why this shit don't work because the shit you be working on, you don't walk away from when you're warned. And that's why your ass end up losing this person. And that's why this person ain't got money, love, dick, nothing for you. Or that's how you feel, masculine. I'm sick of this. I am just sick of this because a real divine film. Bitch, we, this is all we've ever motherfucking had is conflict. You don't think that we know everybody in our life nine times out of ten is betraying us, bitch? We're strong for that reason. God gives those battles to us for that reason. In order to heal pain, you got to feel pain. And nine times out of ten, you're going to be left to heal yourself. 
because you know what works. The best teacher is an experienced one. One that experienced that shit. Because they can tell you what to expect from whatever it is that they're teaching. Ain't none of this gonna be easy for any of us guys, but we gotta let go of things that don't serve our purpose. Why would you stay with a person? Knowing all of this shit, fuck if you know what they're doing behind your back. Even if you intuitively feel a person's fucking you over, that's your flag to go. It's bullshit. And it's more than likely a Taurus. They stay on bullshit. You got to understand that your discernment can't only be used when it's convenient. You got to always use discernment. We stay in these relationships because, oh, I don't want to get to know nobody else. Or he ain't that bad all the time. She ain't that bad all the time. Or I love this person. I want to still make it work with this person because I feel like this person can do better. They will. And they never do. Once you forgive a person one time for stealing, for disrespecting you, for cheating, for anything, once you forgive them and you fuck with them, oh, you better understand you'll be getting fucked. Because you forgave them once, you're going to keep forgiving them. Especially you spending more days. You forgave them, so they're back. You're building more memories with this person. And then guess why? You get stabbed all over again and it hurts another wound because they promised they weren't gonna do it no more. Y'all been having a good time and this person still felt the need to cheat. So now you looking at you like, what in the fuck is wrong with me? It ain't nothing wrong with you. You just gotta understand when shit is wrong for you. I done been 17, 17. I know how that shit feel. I'm not gonna say shit because I ain't claiming that shit. I've healed from whatever trauma and I use my healing to provide whatever I can to y'all. I don't care if one person gets something. I'm still gonna make it available for you to receive it. And I gotta keep doing that shit no matter what is going on in my life. People will betray you like no other. Like, damn, I didn't think you were capable. And not even you, it's what you did. Nine times out of 10, it'd be about money or about something like that. You know, I was just cruising earlier and I looked around and I just, I know what it feels like to be homeless. And when I see people and I can't help them, man, that shit breaks my heart. When somebody say, ma'am, you got 10 cents I can get, and I don't even got nothing but the money to get what I came to get. That shit hurt that I can't help because if you came to me, then obviously you felt I could help you. I mean, I can if I had it. But look at all the people that have it and don't help. I don't count any body pockets because I believe everybody came from their own walk of life. And motherfuckers deserve where they are. They deserve their success. They deserve to enjoy their money. But why is it so many hungry people? If motherfuckers can give you two bands a month, might as well take rent away altogether. 
how the fuck are we being selfish with God's land? Yeah, motherfuckers might have built properties, but who the fuck gave you the gift? Who divinely led you? Who gave you that idea? It all comes from God. Because he wants this place how he wants it. And trust me, it's going to get that way. I just, I, 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 I'm disappointed in the collective energy. Because the day when you can't even speak your mind without a bitch or a nigga taking what you say to heart. A hit dog will always holler. See, she might need to go find your collar and find your owner. I'm just a fucking messenger. I'm just a messenger. I don't want none of you hoes, nigga. I can't say your husband because you bitches are still bending over backwards trying to get a ring and you're never going to get one. I don't want your man, bitch. I want my own husband. I want my own man. Why the fuck would I want yours when you don't even want it? Stop having so much envious, jealous, spiteful, malicious fucking thoughts and energies controlling you. We let that shit in. We allow those energies we allow we are all in control of ourselves and it took a lot for me to learn that i had to lose a lot for me to learn that but i never lost love i never lost my mind and that comes straight from god i died three or four times I had a noxic brain injury. They told my mama I was going to be a vegetable, all that shit, whatever. God got the last say so, though. And that's going to forever be my testimony. And I know he's real. You can't tell me he's not. We fuck up. And when we don't get what we feel we deserve, we don't want to go look like, well, why hadn't I gotten this blessing? Maybe, maybe I need to cut out some things. We don't do that. We just say, you know, I'm entitled. No. God, you will get God got blessings for everybody. Some people just never get the lesson. 2255. Two, you cannot. He's not gonna give it to you if you're not ready. I got, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And I really don't even express myself, but I feel like somebody need to hear this shit. Hell, maybe I need to hear it. I got so upset with my guys that I started, I just started losing faith. But I couldn't because I knew it was Somebody projecting that energy onto me. I'm like, bro, how the fuck? I'm like, spirit, bro, really, bro? Y'all just gonna let these folk do this shit to me. Y'all see them doing this shit to me. I can't see you, but you gonna let these folk. I don't do that shit these people do. But I get download after download, Spirit be telling me. And I got upset with Spirit. But I never, I never even thought of not believing. I was just starting to lose faith because I'm like, man, I'm being attacked. But then you know what I had to think about? I'm just like, daddy, where you at daddy? Like, don't let these folk do this to me. Whole time I'm protected, whole time this shit I already done, 
already won. I literally already won. Just because I don't see it being done, that don't mean it's not. I got upset with my spirit guys. And they ain't never let me down. But I I got to the point just like, man, I don't do this shit. Why are people doing this to me? But shit, why not? It ain't doing nothing but making me stronger. And I had to realize that. I said that I'm sorry for disrespecting spirit. I'm sorry for disrespecting my guys that you blessed me with to help me in life. Please understand my frustration and that I'm not taking anything to heart. But just understand, I don't know your plan, but I know you have one. But it's kind of hard when you don't see any results like I was talking about in my other reading. It's kind of hard when you're not seeing results. When you got nobody in this world but your guys. And you feel like they're not even there. I'll never, ever fix my mouth. To even question spirit. Never fix my mouth to question God. Because what God got from me, that shit is it definitely is worth the wait. I don't know what it is. What he got for you is worth the wait. I'm not perfect, y'all. I'm not perfect. But I try. I try. And I don't talk to people. I go straight to my daddy with anything. And I talk to my daddy how I talk to y'all. Because he loved me anyhow. He made me exactly like this because he wanted me like this. And I love who I am. I do. I'm 30 years old and I look 15. We don't ever look like what we've been through. And I definitely won't even have to share with you all what's going on, but God gonna reveal it. Because I'm not gonna lay down and die. I am not gonna give up on myself. I'm gonna keep going because if I don't, I might as well not exist. I'm trying to prove some shit to God. You can trust me to do what you told me to do. To do what I agreed to do before I even got here. And I be, I be like, well, what the fuck did I do in my past life? Like, why am I going through? Why are people attacking me? I will never do. Like, I just never. And I never asked my daddy. It's just, I'm asking my, I'm just talking out loud. Like, why? Like, I don't do this type of shit to people. Like, why? What is, what is going on? But my mission requires resilience. And I just want to succumb in. Let you guys know God love all of us. He ain't forgotten about us. He ain't gonna never forget about us. We might forget about him at times or forget to pray or whatever. But he always is there. And we do not give God the recognition that he deserves because at the end, what is all of this shit about? Is it about the houses, the cars? Is it about who got more jury? Who jury real and who jury fake? 
bro, what are we doing for God? Are we making, can you go to bed and say, I know I did something today and I know God proud of me. I don't care if you helped an elder person with their groceries. That's something Jesus would have done. And in spite, in spite of all the shit that we do, God still blesses us. Anyhow, I just, I cannot wrap my head around the shit that we do and he still blesses us and we still fuck up shit. All I can say is, I don't need these cards because I know exactly what's going on. Some of y'all just stuck. Some of y'all like, man, if I leave, then I'm not sure what's going to happen, bro. You sometimes you just got to go. Because if you trust God, you know he'll never lead you wrong. And wherever you end up is exactly where he wants you. Ain't nothing by coincidence. That's why it's called taking a leap of faith. Doing something different. I'm tired, y'all. That shit brighten my heart like it do. It break my heart just to see so much hate, so much envy, so much Just... Then I post messages. People go above and beyond to report my videos. But why? If you're not dancing to the same music, bitch, leave the club. Why are you? People literally make it their mission to. They make it their mission, okay, to make sure they insert themselves into your journey to try to throw you off. Shadow work is very important because in this season, you're going to have people that's going to try to use your past against you. Don't say nothing. Don't react. I'm telling you how to pass. Spirit said, cheat, cheat. Because that's what spirit guides are, really a cheat sheet to life. They literally tell us what the fuck to do. Okay, guys, but. Somebody nosy as hell. Y'all just, you know, we all got to do better. We all got to want better. We got to see better, you know, for it to come into fruition. You know, I don't feel like you being out for 15 minutes, you know, you can't be nice to people while you're interacting for a short period of time. You know? Um, 